Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. This is The Bookish Life of Laura. My name is Laura and today I'm talking about my TBR for Tone Topple Round 11. So Tone Topple, if you don't know, is a two week long readathon created by Sam over at Thoughts on Tones, which I will link down below. And basically it's a very easy going readathon. The only requirement is to read books that are over 500 pages. That's it. Any genre, any, any target audience, like literally whatever you want, as long as it meets at least 500 pages, it counts. So they also do a whole bunch of prompts, which are optional, but if you want to do challenges, you can, which I do like to do challenges, so I'm going to do those. And each book can count for a maximum of two challenges. So there are nine challenges altogether, and so I have five books. Each book counts for two challenges, except for the last one, which is the ninth challenge. So this is my TBR for if I'm able to read everything which I won't be, but just in case. <laughs> Starting with The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon, which is 848 pages. <laughs> Starting out strong here. I don't really know what this one is about, but I do know that it's an adult fantasy novel that people went absolutely nuts over when it was first released, and it also involves dragons, so obviously I want to read it. But this book, being how long it is, is very intimidating. So I'm glad that I have a push to finally read it. And this book fulfills the prompts to read the tome on your TBR that has the longest pages, which this is definitely the longest one, as well as to read an adult tome. Hello, uh, editing Laura here real quick. I fully forgot to talk about one of the books on my TBR, which was Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy by Cassandra Clare. And this fills the prompts to read the tome that's been on your TBR the longest, as well as to read a tome from a series. So. Next up is The Secret History by Donna Tartt, which is 559 pages. I do own this book, but it's somewhere lost in a box somewhere, so I'll get it out later on when I actually read this book. I used to know what it's about, but I've kind of forgotten, to be honest. But I do know that it is dark academia and has to do with a secret society at Yale? Maybe? Something like that. I did read the first couple pages of it a couple years ago and put it down, but one of my best friends in the entire world loves this book, so I thought that I would give it another shot. And this book fills the challenges to read a book outside of your normal genre, as well as a standalone tome. I'll also be reading The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers, which is 518 pages. I believe this book has a found family element, which I live for. And it involves space exploration and all that fun stuff. And it's described as being a light-hearted space opera. So I think it'll be a pretty fun one to read and I'm really looking forward to it. And this fills the prompts to read an audiobook tome as well as just to read one tome in general. And lastly, as my light slowly dies before my eyes, is Steel Crow Saga by Paul Kruger, which is 528 pages. This book is about a band of rogues and royals who have to team up to defeat some magical murderer. And it also involves talking animal companions, which like, fuck yeah, I want that in my life. <laughs> And this book fills the prompt to read a tome for AAPI Heritage Month, which Paul Kruger is Filipino-American, so that works perfectly. But that is it. Sorry to make this so quick, but my light is just like very rapidly fading. It's just about to die and it takes hours for it to charge. So very fast video. Sorry for the crappy lighting. <laughs> But I'm very excited to do this readathon. It'll be my first time doing Tome Topple because I am terrified of the chunky books on my TBR. So thank you to Tome Topple for making me read them finally. Hopefully I actually do well. And just a disclaimer, I do not expect to get through all of these books. These five books would be over 3000 pages in two weeks. That is not happening but this is just my my ideal goal. Uh, I'll probably only get to max three of them I would guess but I'll aim for all five, probably not going to happen, but we'll see. So. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic day wherever you are in the world and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!